A woman is safe after authorities say she was kidnapped by a man pretending to be an Uber driver. Yeah, authorities say she was picked up at a car dealership in Arizona, and the suspect was heading here to Las Vegas. Elliot Polakoff from our sister station in Phoenix has more. We're confident that she'll, you know, she'll get through it, and obviously she wants to see this man put away. Three days after a Valley woman was kidnapped at an East Valley car dealership, Yavapai County Sheriff's Office's Kristen Green says the woman is still traumatized about what took place. You know, she's still in, in sort of a, a state of, of shock about all this. But On Monday morning, the woman dropped her car off and requested a ride from a ride-sharing service. But instead of getting in the assigned car, Green says Jacob Wilhoyt pulled up in a blue van with multiple guns wearing a wig, duct taping the woman's mouth and zip tying her wrists. She did have uh, bruises consistent with her uh, hands having been zip tied. Former FBI Special Agent Jennifer Coffendaffer says when using rideshare apps, it's important to be extra vigilant in terms of the car that you're getting into. There are special signature uh, stickers that are on those windshields. And there should also be communication uh, on your cellular phone. Coffin Daffer says, if you can, stand by others when preparing to enter a car. But if alone, and if a driver approaches with a gun, take matters into your own hands. Action is so much faster than reaction. By the time you run or flee or duck or go into another direction, that person is not going to be able to have that beat on you anymore in terms of that firearm. After spending the night at a Lake Mead Park, the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office said Will Hoyt's plan was to continue west towards Kingman and eventually Las Vegas. But stopping at the Chevron gas station gave the woman an opportunity to communicate with a good Samaritan who took the threat seriously. It's really no skin off your back to take the person seriously and make the phone call to 911. If it turns out it's some sort of hoax, no harm, no foul, but you know, don't don't just automatically discount it.